Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. Start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahweh is our power and authority. Yahweh works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahweh, your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. John 16. I have told you these things so that you won't be caught by surprise. They will ban you from the synagogue. In fact, the time will come when anyone who kills you will think he is serving God. They will do these things because they have understood neither the Father nor me. But I have told you this so that when the time comes for you to happen, you will remember that I told you. I didn't tell you this at first because I was with you, but now I'm going to the one who sent me. Not one of you is asking me, where are you going? Instead, because I've asked because I have said these things to you, you are overcome with grief. But I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I don't go away, the comforting counselor will not come to you. However, if I do go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will show that the world is wrong about sin, about righteousness, and about judgment about sin and that people don't put their trust in me, about righteousness and that I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me, about judgment and that the ruler of this world has to be judged. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't bear them now. However, when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, and he will not speak on his own initiative, but will say only what he hears. He will also announce to you the events of the future. He will glorify me, because he will receive from what is mine and announce it to you. Everything the Father has is mine. This is why I said that I had that he receives. This is why I said that he receives from what is mine, and I will announce it to you. In a little while, you will see me no more. Then, a little while later, you will see me. At this, some of his Talmudim said to one another, What is this he, that he's telling us? In a little while, you won't see me. Then, a little while later, you will see me. And I am going to my father. They went on saying, What is this little while? We don't understand what he's talking about. Yeshua knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you asking each other what I meant by saying, In a little while you won't see me, and then a little while later you will see me? Yes, it's true. I tell you that you will sob and mourn, and the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will be turned to joy. When a woman is giving birth, she is in pain because her time has come. But when the baby is born, she forgets her suffering out of joy that a child has come into the world. So you do indeed feel grief now, but I am going to see you again. Then your hearts will be full of joy, and no one will take your joy away from you. When that day comes, you won't ask anything of me. Yes, indeed, I tell you, whatever you ask from the Father, he will give you in my name. Till now, you haven't asked for anything in my name. Keep asking, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have said these things to you with the help of illustrations. However, a time is coming when I will no longer speak indirectly, but I will talk about the Father in plain language. When that day comes, you will ask in my name. I am not telling you that I will pray to the Father on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I, have, I came from God. 
I came from the Father, and I've come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world and returning to the Father. The Talmudian said to him, Look, you're talking plainly now. You're not speaking indirectly at all. Now we know that you know everything, and that you don't, and that you don't need to have people put their questions into words. This makes us believe that you came from God. Yeshua answered, Now you do believe, but a time is coming, indeed it has come already, when you will be scattered, each one looking out for himself, and you will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have said these things to you so that, united with me, you may have shalom. In the world you have trials, but be brave. I have conquered the world. Amen. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading John 16? We can know that we have been... We can know that we will be banned from places of worship and, in fact, will be killed for serving our God. Remember these things and remember that Yeshua is the one who has sent him. Trust that it is to our advantage that Yeshua is the one because the comforting counselor will be able to come because Yeshua is away. Trust that it is Yeshua that sends the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, he will show that this world is wrong about sin, about righteousness, and about judgment. About sin, in that people do not put their trust in Yeshua. About righteousness, about judgment, in that the ruler of this world has been judged. The Spirit of truth will guide Yeshua's children into all truth. He will only speak what he hears. He will announce future events. He will glorify Yeshua. He will receive what is Yeshua's and announce it to Yeshua's children. Everything the Father has is Yeshua's, and it will be announced to us. Trust that our grief will turn to joy. Trust that one day our hearts will be full of joy, and no one will take your joy away from you. Trust that when that day comes, whatever Yeshua's children ask from the Father, he will give us in Yeshua's name. Trust that Yeshua says to keep asking and we will receive so that our joy may be complete. Trust that the Father loves us because we love Yeshua and believe that Yeshua comes from the Father. God. Trust that Yeshua knows everything. Trust that Yeshua is not alone, that the Father is with him. Trust that Yeshua has said these things so that united with Yeshua, we may have shalom, peace. Know that in the world we will have trials, but Yeshua tells us to be brave, that Yeshua has conquered the world. How can we love others? We can share this great truth about how others may have joy. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can ask others how we can pray for them and keep those prayers in our hearts often and follow up with those prayers. And with the Arianic blessing, Yahweh will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.